Hi everyone, Becky here from Notes from the Sewing Room. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is all about my sewing plans for an online pyjama party. So if that's something that does interest you, then please do stay watching and I'll tell you all about it. It's really nice to have you with me today if you are a regular viewer, if you are a subscriber, or if of course you're new to my channel. Um, you might be able to see an extra little guest that I've got here at the minute, my Labrador Bentley has hopped up on my sofa to say hi. So I know some of you do like to see Bentley. So here he is and um, yeah, just wanting lots of cuddles and fusses. So, but there we are. So anyway, let's talk about the online pyjama party. So if you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, it is being organised by a shop here in the UK called Crafty So-and-So. And basically anyone can take part in any part of the world because the pyjama party is online. And it's basically all about making yourself a pair of pyjamas. So I was immediately excited when I heard about this because I wanted to make myself some pyjamas for ages and I basically just not got round to it so this kind of gives me a bit of a kick up the, the bottom and you know gets me into the spirit of making pyjamas I guess. So let me tell you all about the kind of challenge of the sewing challenge if you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about. So it's basically all happening over on Instagram and um, you can follow me also on Instagram if you would like to by searching notes from the sewing room and you'll find my my kind of channel there if you're interested. You can of course find Crafty So and So as well and I will put all the challenge details in the description box below if, if you are interested. So like I said it's an online pyjama party where anyone in the whole world can take part and Crafty So and So are basically invite are inviting me and you and everyone to make a pair of handmade pyjamas out of any fabric that you want to and share them online um, tagging crafty so-and-so in there so that they can see what you've made. They're really inviting people to share a picture of their handmade pyjamas on the 30th of July here in the UK and of course everywhere around the world. I guess it's always the 30th of July on that day. <laughs> you can tell I'm tired can't you? <laughs> Now there are a few competition prizes, I think from Crafty So and So themselves and I think from a few other um, shopping kind of retailers as well. So to join in with the party, you have to follow a few simple challenge rules, I guess. The first one is start by telling people that you're taking part on Instagram. And I think they'd, they'd also like you to kind of say what kind of pyjamas you're planning on making. The second thing is share pictures of your sewing in progress. The third thing is join in with the daily story prompts that Crafty So and So will be putting out. I don't really know what that will involve. I guess it's just a case of keeping an eye out on Instagram. And then finally, on the 30th of July, share your picture of your handmade pyjamas. You can also follow all the fun on Instagram by searching the hashtag, hashtag crafty PJ party. So like I said, I'm really excited about this. I think there's so many different options of things that you could make and things that you could try. So I thought in this video, I've got a few different ideas. So I'm gonna share with you some fabrics that I've got in my stash that I could potentially use to make some pajamas. And I've got a few different ideas of patterns that I could use as well that I already own. So I thought I'd talk fabrics first and then go on to potential pattern op options afterwards. I would love it if you could let me know which fabric you think would be most suitable. And also, you know, if you've got any ideas of which pattern I should choose, that would be amazing as well. Because I've got quite a lot of choice here and I'm really not sure what, what to go for. I will say before I start, I do like a comfy pair of pyjamas. So I'm planning on making something that's quite practical that I can get a lot of wear out of. I am quite a cold person. I get cold arms when I'm in bed and I get cold legs as well. So ideally, I'd like to make a long pair of pyjamas, um, but definitely I need a long sleeve top even if I do make, make some shorts because yeah, like I say, I do get a little bit chilly and I do end up wearing socks to bed and that kind of thing as well. So um, I also like a comfy pair of pajamas that are made out of jersey ideally rather than a woven fabric. So the materials that I've got here to show you are actually all jerseys. So the first fabric that I've got here is actually a viscose jersey. So it's quite lightweight and it's something that you may have seen before. I shared it quite a while ago on a previous uh, fabric haul type video. It's got a lot of stretch, I think in, in both directions, all directions actually. Um, and it's got a beautiful kind of leaf design all over it, a kind of really kind of arty, 
colourful print. So this came in a So Hayley Jane subscription box, um, which I used to have. I'm currently kind of having a break from the subscription boxes because I just wanted to catch up on the fabrics that I've got already. Um, so, but this is, this is one of the fabrics that I got. So this is actually two and a half meters of fabric that I've got here. So I think this could be suitable for quite a lot of different pajamas. Um, I think it'd be really like comfy to wear. And I think I'd feel quite I don't know, quite happy and kind of special in these pyjamas as well because it is it is a lovely fabric and it would definitely be suitable for making, you know, a lovely dress or something else to wear, you know, out of the house. So I think it would make a special pair of pyjamas. So that's my first fabric option. Um, and like I said, I've got loads there, two and a half metres. So I think that would be plenty for any of the options that I've got. Um, the second fabric I've got is actually a French terry fabric. So can't remember where I got this from. I think I might have actually bought it from Crafty So-and-So. So this is a lovely kind of wine colour fabric that's got some little tiny birds all over. If I just put that a little bit closer, you'll be able to see. And it's got some little flowers on there as well. So I originally bought this to actually make a dress with, but I've basically just not got around to doing it yet. So if I don't use it for pyjamas, I may still use it for a dress at, at some point. Maybe like when the weather gets a little bit cooler again. But this is this has got a nice amount of stretch to it, but I think it would make a comfortable pair of pyjamas because it's got that lovely French terry backing on it and it just feel quite nice against your skin. So that's another option. I think I've got about, I've got at least a metre and a half, if not two metres of that. I've not measured it and it was quite a while ago that I bought it, but I think it's quite a wide fabric. So I think I've definitely got enough to make at least a pair of shorts and a top, if not, I don't know, maybe some crop trousers, possibly some long ones, fingers crossed, not sure. But I really love that fabric and I think it would be suitable for pyjamas for now because it's not too heavyweight, but also pajamas I can wear like later into the year as well. So um, to be honest, I wear pajamas all year round. I just, I love wearing pajamas. One of those things, when I come home from work, I can, I can put them on, I can get all snuggly, or if I ever get like wet in the rain or anything when I go out, or to be honest, if I'm just not going out for the afternoon, I like to put on my job pajamas. I'm just a pajamas kind of girl, I guess, rather than a kind of nighty person or, or even a tracksuit person, to be honest. I just, I do like a nice pair of pajamas. So yeah, so this is another option. And then the final fabric option I've got is something that I bought ages ago and I would describe this as probably a lightweight cotton jersey. So again, I can't quite remember where I bought this from. I may have also bought it from Crafty So and So. I do buy a lot of fabrics from them because I I just really like the the fabrics that they have, and I think they're they're always good quality when I get them, which is a big thing when you're ordering online. I think so I've never been disappointed. So this is this is a lovely fabric. It's green and it's got these beautiful pandas all over. So this kind of called out to me online, and I thought yes, I've got to have that one. And again, I thought originally I was gonna use it for a top or something like that, but I've had it for quite a while and I've not used it. So again, it could make a really nice pair of pajamas. So um, again, I think it would be lovely to wear. It's got a lovely amount of stretch to it. So yeah, I'm not sure how much I've got here. Again, I've got at least a meter and a half, if, if not a little bit more. So again, maybe some shorts, maybe a long sleeve top, something like that. So what patterns am I thinking of? I've got a few different options, so let's talk through it. So in terms of the tops, I was thinking, why not use a top pattern that I already have and already like? So one of the options is one of my all time favorites, which is actually the Tilly and the Buttons Coco top. That could look really nice, I think, with shorts or three quarter length trousers or long trousers. I know that it fits well. I know that it's comfortable. I could make it with a three quarter length arm, which I'd be happy with or a long sleeve arm as well, or sleeve, should I say. So that, that's one option. Um, another option for potential tops is another one of my all time favorites, which actually I recorded two different videos a while ago about my full collection of the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top and also the Coco as well. So I will link those down below if you are interested in watching them. But yeah, so I was thinking also I could use the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes to make a pajama top, that would be a little bit more fitted than my regular pyjama tops, if I'm honest. I do tend to like something that's got a little bit more wiggle room in, um, so that can be nice and comfortable in bed. But 
it's a possible. And I was having a look through my kind of pattern stash, things that I've got free on magazines and stuff like that. And I came across a couple of um, patterns that I thought, oh, that could work. So one is the cozy lounge set here. It's available in sizes extra small through to extra large. And this is a thread count pattern that I think I got free on Love Sewing Magazine here in the UK. So there's a few different options there for a long sleeve kind of sweatshirt type top. You've got these nice trousers here with a cuff detail on the bottom. Um, I think there's a couple of different details, actually, a couple of different options for the top. Um, and then you've got a couple of different trouser options as well, shorts, all the long legs. So I quite liked, you know, that you've got the variety in there. So that, that could work um, quite nicely. Um, I'm not sure if I've got enough fabric to do both the trousers and the long sleeve top, depending on which fabric I decided to go for, but I do, I do like the idea of that cosy lounge set. So I don't know if you've made that one. If you have made it, then I'd love to know how you found it, how you found the sizing, what kind of fabric you use and that kind of thing. That, that would be great if you could let me know. So that is an option. Another pattern that I already have in my stash, and it's actually supposed to be for woven fabrics, but I have actually made it before, um, well, in wovens. I, I, I can't remember if I've made it in a jersey, to be honest, or not before, but I think it could work if I use something that was quite stable, so possibly not the viscose jersey that I've got. And that is the quick sew pattern. It's called K3553. It's actually a missus pattern. And the, the pattern that I've got here is available in extra small through to extra large. And um, it's got a kind of shirt top and then the trousers. So I don't think that my jersey fabrics would work for, for the shirt top because obviously it's got a collar and that sort of stuff and it wouldn't really work in jersey. But the, the pyjama pants, I think, would work in a jersey because they're, they're really simple. It's basically, you know, front legs, back legs uh, sewn together with a jersey, uh, not a jersey, an elastic uh, waistband, should I say. So I think that could work. And I know that this pyjama pattern fits me. I've also actually made it for my husband and my brother before as well, even though it's a missus pattern, doesn't really matter for pyjama trousers. So I do, I do like that one. And I think that could be an option, at least for the bottoms, possibly joined with one of the other top patterns that I mentioned before. So I don't know, that's an option. Other options that I was considering were the Sophia trousers from the Tilling the Buttons Make It Simple book. I've actually not made those and I know they're not supposed to be for pyjamas but I think made in a nice comfortable fabric they could definitely work as pyjamas and um, that looks to be like a nice quick project, um, nice wide legs, I think they'd be really comfortable to wear just around the house as well as for bed as well. Um, they've got that cropped length but I guess you could lengthen them if you wanted to so that's definitely an option I'm considering. They look really stylish as well and I would I quite like a nice pair of stylish pyjamas because most of my pyjamas, I say most because not all, but most of my pyjamas are shop bought. They're getting a little bit tired to be honest, I've had them quite a long time so it would, it would be nice to have a nice pair of pyjamas that I feel, I don't know, kind of a little bit more, I don't know, special, nice in, I don't know, but just a thought. <laughs> and then my final thought on what I could potentially make is another one from the Make It Simple book, and that is the Juno pyjamas. So I like, again, that you've got options with these. So you've got the, the lovely trousers there, which have got the cuff detailing on the bottom of the ankle, which are a little bit different from regular pyjamas I've got in my, my drawer, to be honest, at the moment. I tend to have ones that have got more of a, a wide leg. So actually it might be quite nice to make um, some pajama bottoms that have got that little cuff detail at the bottom. They'd certainly be nice and snuggly to wear. And then you've got that nice top as well with the long sleeves, which I like. Um, but there's also options in the book to actually turn the, um, the trousers into shorts. And of course, you don't have to use that top. You could use a, a different top pattern. One of the ones that I've already suggested or something else. So I've got lots and lots of different options there. Um, I'm not really sure what my preferred ones are. I think I do like the Savio trousers. That could definitely be a winner. Possibly teamed with the Tilling the Buttons cocoa top, but I'm not sure. I'd love to know um, what you think, which ones you think I should do. So um, do leave me a comment below and, and let me know what you think. And also I'd love to know if you're planning on taking part in the online pyjama party as well. I think it's such a fun idea to get, you know, all the sewing community involved and um, that we can all take part in a, a pyjama party together. So yeah, it'd be, it'd be really fun. So, um, but I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. If you have, I would love it if you could press that like button, 
consider leaving me a comment below. I'd, lo I'd love to chat to you below in the comment section. And um, if you aren't subscribed already, it would be great if you could consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. It's um, amazing to have you with me every week. I really do appreciate it. I normally re release videos on Mondays. So do keep an eye on my channel on Mondays. And to press, if you press that notification bell actually on my channel, then you should be notified every time I put up a new video anyway. It's normally Mondays when I put out videos, family life depending, but sometimes it's Tuesday, but I do tend to keep you posted in my kind of um, community YouTube tab type thing anyway, or um, I, I normally post on Instagram anyway when I've put a new video out. So anyway, I normally let you know, I'm rambling here. <laughs> so, but thank you so much for being with me today. It's, it's really nice to have you and I shall see you very soon.